several summers, I kind of got the impression Aaron Murray was a big off-the-field leader when it came to summertime. Uh, with him moving on, who do you kind of expect or want right. to see step into that role and keep the team? Well, our quarterbacks in? have to be that guy on offense. Um, and usually their center is the guy in the, in the offensive line. QB kind of handles the skill guys. The center kind of handles the offensive line. And then you need, you know, some linebackers and to step up and you know, somebody uh, – D-line, somebody in the perimeter, you know, at least one guy from each segment to kind of take on the mantle. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, you know, who's going to jump in and fill those roles, but um, one thing that will be different is this is the first year uh, in a long time that uh, all activity, you know, strength and conditioning activity is mandatory now. Um, there's eight hours of activity per week that's mandatory, similar to what you have in the spring prior to spring ball. And uh, so the running and lifting and all those kind of things are mandatory. And we can actually mandate a couple hours a week of film study within the eight hours as well. I don't know if we're going to um, always use the, those two hours for that purpose. You can use all eight for strength and conditioning, or you can split it up a little bit. So I think that'll, I think that'll help. But in some ways, it was, it was nice when the players had to do it. There wasn't, it wasn't <coughs> coaches mandating it. And, uh, and, and the, some of the things that won't be mandated will be the, the throwing and the catching and the pass pro, pass rush stuff, uh, you know, the film study, those guys, you know, there'll be a lot of film study they'll do on their own like they've done in years past. So those things will be important. Where do you leave uh, the spring in terms of the secondary? How, right. where, where do you think they are right now? I would say we don't know where anybody's going to line up yet. As far as, I would say there's not a job, I can't say we won't know where anybody lines up, I shouldn't say that. What I mean to say is I don't know if anybody's nailed down a starting position anywhere. Um, I think Coach Pruitt is going to be very interested to see what everybody does in the off season, how they show up in camp, what they retain. He, he, I know he wants to see the you know, new guys that will be rolling in town what their skill sets are and um, how they compete. So uh, I'd be I'd be shocked to get a lineup anytime soon. Uh, even when camp starts, I think um, you know we'll line them up. But I would think you know move around a little bit before we settle in on them. Mark, do you have guys like uh, Andrews and uh, Gurley that probably are fair to say are going to be starters on offense? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have is a guy like? Uh, Wilson or Herrera, a, a starter. I mean, I know they got to win it again in, the, in August, but you know, I'm not going to sit here and say for sure anybody on defense right now because I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not 100 sure. As far as the secondary goes, when you told us beginning of spring that you were going to move JJ Green over to the cornerback, uh, just how much has your confidence now that we're at the end of spring kind of changed over the last month or so? Well, in Coach Pruitt, I'm sorry. Yeah. Coach Pruitt actually played him more in the nickel and wanted him to learn that one spot. I, I'm not. I'm trying to think if he had much work at all as a corner on the outside. So he played mostly the nickel, which is a cornerback playing that same linebacker position basically. And um, and so. Um, I think he did a pretty good job there. He's he's very tough and physical and run support. Um, he's an instinctive football player. He's smart. He, he, I think he picked it up quickly. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there's much doubt he'll help us. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain he'll stay on that side of the ball. And Trammell, is he pretty certain you to stay what? on defense? Uh, I would say yes right now. Say yes. Uh, thought he made progress. It was, you know, it was slow progress early on, but and then he had a little hamstring here at the end. But um, you know, he's just the healthier he gets, and the more he learns, the more we'll find out, you know, really what he's capable of. I know you have to balance, uh, you know, getting the guys in the right spots with, you know, not moving guys around too much yeah. in their careers. Is he at that yeah. stage where he's, you know, it would be doing it too much? Uh, he's still young, but um, I think he can. I think he'll be fine. Um, 
I remember Mikey Henderson, gosh, we, I don't remember when we moved him. It was probably, I think it's fourth year or something, when he was playing corner most of his career. And then we took a spring and let him learn wide receiver, thinking he could go back at any time to play corner. And then he ended up sticking at wide receiver and playing really big for us. So I don't know if it's ever too late. I mean, I would think the last season would be tough. But gosh, I had a college roommate who moved from tight end to tackle. His last season, it was you know his fifth year basically, and um, ended up being the second pick uh, of the uh, third pick of the second round. Had an offensive line position where he played tight end his whole whole college career basically. So I don't know if it's ever too late. You had Quavon Hicks running tight end a lot this spring, mm -hmm. just to kind of fill bodies that were needed over there. But uh, has he shown you that he might continue that position once you get I think Jay so. Rome back? Quavon. He's got a ways to go in route <coughs> and all that, but he's done some good things uh, running routes and catching the ball. It's definitely not polished there, but he's proved to be able to put his hand on the ground on that line of scrimmage and, and pass pro and run block pretty darn good. So, um, and, and just um, learning what to do. He, he did a pretty good job, and, and part of it is that the um, what we call the F position uh, is a fullback, but it's also a tight end. The fullback's out. The F is the tight end in a three receiver set. So a lot of times that F will run the same route, sometimes from a fullback position, sometimes from a tight end position or tight end alignment. And um, so there, there's a little bit of carry over there. So that probably helped him some. But there was a lot to learn. And considering he just started doing it, I thought he did, I thought he did pretty good. What do you think about the... Uh quarterbacks, two guys in particular after uh, Hudson in terms of uh, do, do you have a guy that's going to head into the summer as number two? You know, you'd have to ask Mike, or I don't know if you asked Mike on that, but uh, I don't know if we have an answer for that right now. There was there's probably some days we, we thought it might be Bryce. There's probably some days we thought it would be Fatone. I don't know if that's been settled. I, I would say no, but I don't want to uh, you know, Mike may have a different opinion. I've not sat down and talked to him about that. I know you might have an answer for this either, but in regards to uh, the last press conference, in regards to the four guys, Trey Matthews and James Rudd, how have they responded this spring since all that went down as far as some of the expectations we put on them to uh, they've, um, get back, I guess? You know, to this point, they've done pretty good. You know, they've handled the discipline that I've given them to this point, and they'll probably be a little bit more until it's over. And I'll let you all know when. And if, mm -hmm. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. But if there's something to announce, I'll announce it. Uh, but, um, you know, to this point, they at least uh, done what I've asked them to do. How important has that been for you to see that? Oh, well, it's big. I mean, the, the goal and discipline is to, to you know, uh, change behavior for the better, you know. And to this point, they're behaving, you know, they, they've behaved well. They've 